Ah, regarding that Rogers Canada wide outage, that is yet another reason to note that no carrier is exempt from outages or 100% uptime, regardless if it's hardwired or cellular service. Hardwired means internet service. If they're going to have an outage, they're going to have an outage. They're going to be down. Fortunately, my internet service provider is with Bell. Everything's bundled and that lowers the cost. It goes as is, be 158 a month or more. Regardless, the other thing is, it's cellular service. There's no guaranteed uptime. There never was. So, I've been a free to mobile customer for 11 and a half years now, or even more, or whatever. 11 plus years, says give or take, whatever. So, uh, the outage is not affecting me at all. Some are being affected. I don't know what it is. Maybe there's a minor outage happening. I know this is lots and lots of congestion because people are sharing their connections. Yeah, I know that's what happens when you got a limited data use. And then once they get slowed down, well, that'll alleviate, you know, depending on how many fuels high speed allotments there are. Some have 10, 20, 30 gigabytes or 50, you know, the higher tire plans are for the most high speed allotments. Regardless, I haven't had a major outage of Freedom Mobile in a long time. A long, a long time. Now, if I was a Rogers customer, you know what I would have done? I don't know. I probably would have gotten a prepaid SIM from another provider that is run by Bell or Telus or Freedom Mobile. Just supplement the service until it comes back. No carrier can ever uh, predict when that is going to happen. It's happened before in Freedom Mobile. I'm not denying that. I had to deal with it. You know what I use? Wi-Fi calling. Yes, my own internet service at home. Because, uh, you know, shit happens sometimes. But it only affected data. So it didn't really affect voice calls. Just data. Not a big deal. Emails and whatever. I waited till I got home. Or until I got the summer to have wireless internet connection available. So as to those at Rogers right now, are you considering switching providers because of that? If you are, keep in mind that Rogers owns Zoomer, Simply Connect, Fido, Shadar, and City Phone. Yeah, oh, I held that off camera. Zoomer, City Phone, Simply Connect, Fido, and Shadar. That's all Rogers. And they're all down. I choose something that's not run, not run by Rogers. Let's see, you have Telus. They own Kudu and Public. You have Bell. They own Northwest still, which is primarily a landline. But whatever. Uh, Virgin and Lucky. That's what Bell owns. Northwest Bell, Virgin and Lucky. If you're in Quebec, maybe consider Videotron or Fizz, their subsidiary. Oh, well, if you want to go for a regional carrier and you're within their coverage area, Freedom Mobile. Or T-Bay Tau if you're in Thunder Bay. Or Ice Wireless if you're, you know, in the Yukon Territories. Uh, oh, yeah, and East Lake in uh, Northern Ontario. Yeah, and also Nova Scotia. At least you're not going to have outages. And at least you have options. Want to know why I chose Freedom Mobile? I wanted to stick it up Rogers Bell and tell us his buttholes. That's why. I don't got to deal with price increases. They do. Maybe consider supporting real competition, a regional carrier in your area. You know, if you live in Thunder Bay, there you go. If you live in Saskatchewan, well, Stask Hell. There you go. Not that bad of a choice. It's pretty damn obvious. Anyways, that's all I gotta say. Sucks to be those at Rogers. It really sucks. For those that operate that uh, Derek machines, gonna take a SIM card. Assuming they're all unlocked and they support the frequencies, throw in a free Freedom Mobile SIM card in it, and there you go. 
there it will work. Or throw in a Bell's Lucky Mobile Sim in. There you go, it'll work. Anyways, just thought I'd say that. I got no hard feelings against Rogers. I used to be a Rogers customer. I tried out their mobile services before, 30 days. No problems. I tried them all, actually. I even tried Bells. Yes, big network, big speeds. But doesn't really make any difference. Anyways, this video will probably be uploaded half an hour after I made it due to the congestion. Maybe an hour or two. Peace out. Have a good day. And consider your options. Remember, there is no guaranteed uptime, regardless who you go with.